Next, we have Kenny Imes, who's also running for treasurer. Thank you, Dr. Simon. Thank all of you all for coming. I know uh, uh, these speaking things, uh, how they can get to you, but I don't want to waste any of my five minutes. Uh, let me tell you very briefly who I, who I am. Uh, I'm Kenny Imes. We actually live in Murray. Uh, my wife, Mary Beth, is with me, my wife of almost 49 years. And we started our life together just about a mile down Preston Highway. Uh, I'm a funeral director by profession. Uh, we own several other businesses our kids have bought those from us now, it's given me liberty to do that. But uh, when we first married, we were going to mortuary school here in Louisville and we lived in Arch Eddy's funeral home down here. So Preston Street is very familiar, I'm very familiar with this area and uh, not that that's any reason to vote for me for treasurer, but just to let you know a little bit about us that, that we pretty well see eye to eye. First and foremost in my life, I'm a Christian. I'm an unabashed Christian. I've been a Christian since I was nine years old. Mary Beth and I have, were, grew up as childhood, childhood sweethearts. Uh, we started, well, we didn't date, but uh, when I was seven and she was six, we be kind of became boyfriend-girlfriend, and I had to wait till she graduated high school before her dad would let us get married. But nevertheless, over the years, we have uh, three children, uh, all of them uh, working, uh, seven grandchildren and one great-granddaughter who's uh, nine months old. But again, that's not the reason you should vote for me. The reason you should vote for me is I have a cons I'm the only candidate, I think, that has a consistent record that you can view. I'm in my sixth term as a state legislator. I've run seven of my own personal businesses that our children now have taken over and started running. I've also served as a deputy cabinet secretary, had over 2,000 employees under us, did a $26 million budget each year, I was a chief administrative officer and chief financial officer. But of the six terms that I have served, four were as a Democrat. I'll just have to tell you. And Jeff, I just, where'd you go? You took dead wrong about the Democratic Party. I've been there, done that. Uh, I learned from it. My family were, were if I, I told you we were from Murray, we were brought up right on the Tennessee border. I guess basically we were Dixiecrats for whatever the word is. But my entire family, uh, for both generations, were, were brought up conservative. I was brought up conservative. I was out mowing yards when I was not, uh, six, seven years old with a real mower. I don't know if some of you may remember what a real mower is. That's not R-E-A-L, it's R-E-E-L. Uh, and then we got power mowers, but I had to buy my own mower. My dad and parents didn't furnish mine. I had to buy them, but uh, made my living there. I got older, started digging graves for my granddad, unloading boxcars for Murray, Murray Wholesale Grocery Company. Basically put ourselves through, I mean, I was independently, financially on our own uh, from the time I was 14. Not that my parents did, couldn't afford it, but it's just the fact that that's the way it was. I had two younger sisters, they took care of those. But I want you to go, you can look, find me on IMS4 Kentucky, it's the number four. Uh, you can check out my webpage, if, uh, you can check out through my history as a legislator, you can check out my voting record and uh, kind of see where I'm coming from. Uh, the the current conservative issues, uh, I make no apologies about them. Uh, they're a part of my mainstream of my life. Uh, the and I think you'll see from some of the legislation that I have sponsored and have been able to work with the Senate. As you know, we're, we're a, I'm a minority member in the House, but I am the ranking minority member of the House State Government Commission uh, Committee, which will oversee all of these pensions. I think that interrelationship between having been a legislator and having knowing the 137 other members of the General Assembly will make all of it work together for good to those that love the Lord. So I ask you for your support May the 19th. Uh, I ask uh, for your help in our election. Hey, just as a point of advice as a conservative, I'm a conservative Republican, you're a conservative Republican, okay? There's a rumor, there's a legend that has been created over the last 40 years that the Dixiecrats, who are a group of people that left the Democratic Party because they got upset because the Democratic Party began to allow African Americans to take part in their convention. They bolted the party because they didn't want that, okay? Tried to create a uh, uh, electoral college uh, 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 crisis, okay? Right, right. If you're gonna run, which if we're gonna reach out to minorities, do not, you put that in your lexicon as saying you or your fan was anything associated with the Dixocrats, okay? I, I, point well taken, and I will tell you, 
as far as that issue in and of itself, my family has never owned a slave in their life or had anything to do with that. My great grandfather served in Kentucky. Great great grandfather served in Kentucky legislature. Yeah, I, know, I, I know your age. I don't. I don't want to. Well, I, you, I, you don't have to. You don't. You I appreciate don't to, your point. Point yeah, well taken. If you want to make it hard for Republicans to do outreach in minority communities, is is do that. I you understand. Know. All right. Thank you. I, I do appreciate it. Honestly, right. I apologize. You guys. Um, most of you, um, the ones of you who didn't form a, an opinion and become a bias, you have my uh, vote and everybody on my Facebook's vote this year. That's uh, over a couple thousand people. You want my opinion, don't be biased. If it forms an opinion, don't talk about it. Um, if you see me in public, you don't call me a white man because that's disrespectful. And you don't call a black man African American or black. Okay, you just forget that racism out of your vocabulary and erase it. And that's how you change our kids. I couldn't agree more. Uh, I, I just honestly can't figure out why we're African Americans, Italian Americans, English Americans, or anything. We're Americans, people. That's the bottom line. That's the bottom line of this whole thing. We are Americans. And let me, let me uh, in conclusion, shorter to answer both questions. We've got one thing that we can do, people. It's in the scripture. It's been there all along. It's even in the Old Testament. You go to 2 Chronicles 714. I don't know if you're a Bible marker or not. That's one of the early things that I marked in my Bible. 2 Chronicles 714. Does everybody know it? If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then while I heal from, hear from heaven, will he, forgive their sin and heal their land. People, that's the answer. That's the answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, that is um, Kenny Imes, who's running for treasurer as a Republican.